What's good? It is Sunday, which means that I need to do my Sunday reset routine today. As you can see, the apartment is a complete mess, so that needs to be reset, but also my mind needs to be reset too because with physical clutter comes mental clutter. I need to reset my entire life right now because <laughs> this is driving me insane. So basically today I'm gonna show you my like Sunday reset routine. So these are things that I try to do every Sunday to kind of like get my life together, like get my life back on track so that I can prepare for the next week and have a really great next week. But anyway, let's get started. So actually the first thing that I do every Sunday morning is I refill my daily pill box. So I take my antidepressants every morning along with probiotics. These are the ones from Seed. And I also take 2000 IU of vitamin D because I have a deficiency. If you're a brown or black person of color, make sure you get your vitamin D levels checked because we are most at risk for vitamin D deficiency. One of the only downsides of having melanin. <laughs> Now, the cool thing about this mess is that it is telling me exactly what I need to do better. So this mess is basically telling me that I need to do a better job at prioritizing putting the day away after every single day. So next week I'm going to um, make it a priority to spend like 10, 15 minutes at the end of each day to put things away because this literally would not be here if I just put it away the day that I took it out. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take out this foldable cart that I got from Amazon. This thing is a lifesaver if you live in an apartment. I use it for groceries. Sometimes I use it to take the trash out to the trash chute. It's great, but I'm gonna take this out today to take these boxes to the recycling bin downstairs. So this whole tidying up portion of my day took like almost an hour and a half, but if I had just tidied up at the end of every day of the week, I definitely would not have taken this long to get my apartment together this Sunday. So that's what I'm gonna work on next week. Now I'm going to do the dishes and run the dishwasher. I love doing this every Sunday, so I have clean and fresh plates and utensils to use for the upcoming week. And I also like to clean my sink on Sundays too. I like to clean my sink like this every week to avoid my sink from getting like super nasty in the future. So I let that baking soda mixture sit in the sink for like five minutes and then I scrub and rinse it away. Then I take these fizzy sink deodorizers and I just throw it down the drain. Then I water my plants. Don't judge that palm plant. When I first got it, I didn't know how to take care of it, but now I do. So, hey, let's celebrate that. I used to hate vacuuming, but ever since I got this Dyson, I've really been loving it. It is so easy to use. It's cordless. It's relatively compact. It just makes a wonderful vacuum experience. This is definitely the best adult purchase I have ever made. All right, you wanna know what's really cool about this Dyson? <laughs> this video is not sponsored, but uh, I have to vacuum the stairs because I haven't done that in a very long time. So I am going to vacuum the stairs, but instead of like taking this big long thing and trying to vacuum the stairs, the cool thing about this Dyson is there's like a shorter attachment for it. So you just unlatch it down here so that you get the vacuum portion and then you just attach this and boom! This is my best adult purchase of all time. I love this thing. Then I made a little snack because I got a bit famished. 
I literally just cut up an apple with some cashew butter and cinnamon. It's a super easy, delicious snack. You can use peanut butter. I just had cashew butter in my pantry. <laughs> and then I do my laundry so I have clothes to wear the next week. Also, um, I always forget what the laundry symbols mean. I just have never memorized them. So I literally like printed out a, like a sheet <laughs> with all of the laundry symbols so that I know what to do with them. I really like my clothes to last a long time. I don't want to ruin them just by washing them incorrectly or not properly. So I just make sure that I have this and this is um, in my laundry <laughs> quote unquote room. It's just like a closet. <laughs> and I use this drying rack to dry certain items that I can't tumble dry cause I don't want to ruin my clothes prematurely. Since I've been on my feet all day, I decided to take like an hour rest and just read a book. Just chill out and read a book. Now I'm gonna clean my bathroom counter and sink. I actually forgot to film myself cleaning my counter, but usually what I try to do maybe like every other week is I boil a few cups of vinegar. I know this sounds weird, but I sprinkle this baking soda mixture in the bathroom sink. And once that vinegar is boiling, I'll pour it down the drain. So the chemical reaction makes this mixture bubble and it actually clears out the drain. I do not do this every Sunday. In fact, I don't think I've ever done this at all. <laughs> but I decided to spot clean my floor for some reason. I just had this weird burst of energy and I felt like doing it, so I did. <laughs> okay, so I just um, took a shower and I did my evening skincare routine. Now I'm going to go on my laptop and I am going to start planning my week. Actually, I lied. I'm not gonna take my laptop yet. I'm going to take my notebook and I'm going to start doing a brain dump, which is basically where I will literally just write a whole bunch of to-dos or like things that are on my mind, things that I have to do, things that I want to remember um, so that I can prioritize them and then organize them and then put them into my calendar for the week. Where is my pen? We've secured the pen. Okay, so right before I do my schedule for the week and like plug in stuff from my brain dump, like my master to-do list, um, I like to do a weekly recap of the week before. So I used to do this in a journal. Actually, I used to do it in here. <laughs> I used to do it in a moleskin, but I noticed that I actually prefer typing it rather than writing it down. So I have this um, template that I created in Notion. I'll try to see, I don't know if you can uh, link templates, but I'm gonna try to link it in the description box if you're interested. But basically I do a weekly, a weekly review every week to um, kind of check in with myself, kind of check in with like how I was feeling last week, like, you know, wins, I love doing the wins because sometimes you are focusing on what didn't work as opposed to like small wins. So you can write anything here like, I did yoga one day or I meditated every day or like something even smaller like I got out of bed, you know what I mean? Like just to remind yourself of like all of the wins that you did throughout your week because it's so easy to focus on what you didn't do. <laughs> um, but also, I have a what's not working. So things that weren't working this week, last week. So for example, for me, what wasn't working was letting the clutter build up in my apartment. And then in the next column, I, I do what I can do about it. So for each bullet point here, I do another bullet point about what I can do about it to you know solve the problem so that next week I can address that issue. Um, this system has worked really, really well for me because it helps me keep track of like what I'm doing in the week because so often we're like daydreaming or just kind of going on autopilot. 
Um, so it's like really important to be conscious of like, you know, your wins, what's not working, and then what you can do to improve it the next week. And then I also have values check in here. So I have one for mind and body, and this is just to uh, check in with my mind and body. <laughs> so, you know, have I exercised? How was my body feeling? How was my mind feeling? Where was my mind at? How was I feeling mentally? Things like that. And then the craft. So um, under this, I put like acting stuff and um, YouTube stuff. So like, um, for example, last week I like rebranded my YouTube channel. I made new thumbnails. I made a new uh, header. I like, you know, made a whole new brand identity because I wanted a redesign. I wanted something new and fresh for this new direction of videos that I wanted to create. So that would be an example of something I put under craft. Or if I watched like a film to study the acting in that movie, um, I'll list it like, oh, I watched Rush Hour. <laughs> That's an interesting film example, but you get the point. <laughs> and then under playfulness, I will put all the things that I did that were playful. So I played Animal Crossing. I um, created an entrance on my island. Stuff like that would go under playfulness, just to remind myself that I am also having fun. And then order. I love this because this is what gets me back on track. So under here, under order, I would write like, I didn't tidy up after every day, so next week I want to tidy up every day at the end of the day. Like, you know what I mean? So I really like this system. Again, I will try to leave this template link below if I can figure out how to do that. Um, if you also use Notion because it's been working out really well for me. Oh, and then down here I just have notes. Um, and that's just if I have something extra to say. I kind of use this as like a journal entry for the week. But yeah, so now I'm gonna do this. Okay, so now I am going to create my schedule for the rest of the week. So we've got October 5th through October 9th. I chose a little cute little jack-o'-lantern as the icon for this page, and I'm covering up some active brand deals that I have because I don't want to spoil it. So this is my template for my weekly schedule, my weekly agenda. Um, so Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I like to do like a cardio workout. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I like to do yoga or something low impact. And then I like to post on Instagram on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's why they're all like in this template because I post the same days every week. You know what I'm saying? And then also I try to upload on Tuesdays and I always upload on Fridays. So this live bar right here just tells me to fill it in like whatever video is going live that day. Um, and then I have these cool like template buttons, I think they're called. So anything that's work related, I like to highlight as yellow. So instead of like typing things manually and then manually changing the color to yellow, this just does it for me. So if I do add work event, it literally just adds something for me to type. So at 11 a.m. I have a meeting with my manager. And this is on Monday, so then I'm going to move it here. And I love the drag and drop. It just makes everything super, super easy. And yeah, I, I can do like a whole video about like how I organize my life on Notion if you guys are interested. So let me know in the comments if you're interested in that video. And obviously things will change every, like from day to day, like things will probably need to be moved around. That's why I like doing this on the computer as opposed to writing it down in a planner because my my plans for the week change like day to day. So what I like about Notion is that you can just like drag and drop to like move things around. All right, y'all. So that was my Sunday reset routine. These are things that I try to do every Sunday to um, kind of like recap the previous week so that I can prepare for the next week. It has been working out so well for me. This like reset routine that I've been doing, it's been like setting me up for success. <laughs> success. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.